today's walk, starting out on this almost tempted to call it a forestry track. We're at about 4,000 feet above sea level. And as you can tell, the weather is shaping up to be nice, pleasant morning. It took about 45 minutes to get to this place from the hotel. Driving up through the mountains, steep roads into the uh, into the mountains where we are now. Today's weather was excellent, with a high in the low 70s Fahrenheit. For much of the day, the sun was out too, though clouds did try to come and take over the sky just after we had lunch. Our walk would take us in a generally westward direction eventually taking us down into the village of Fontes. But before we would get there, we climbed up to about 4,600 feet above sea level to a very good viewpoint where I'm told if you looked hard, you could see both the north and south coast of Madeira. I really couldn't tell myself. There's Kenneth walking, proving that he indeed is with us. There actually are a smattering of cows on the island. You walk up a mountain road and then wide, pa wide paths to get to this point. Not trail so much as two track. A lot of cows in this area too. I don't know why this wall is here. We've got about two and a quarter miles to go down into these valleys into, I believe, the village of Fontes. Hey, Jeff used to stay down there in that village that may or may not be visible. I won't swear to it, but I suspect that the remainder of our trek, which is about a mile, is going to be on this mountain road. And our hike today has been on two tracks, mountain road like this, honest to goodness hiking trail in some cases, up to a, uh, a cairn, a trig point. It's been a very good hike today. True mountain hike here in Madeira. And surprised by, I think we all are, by the number of cows that we have seen today. Certainly a few dozen. And I had the impression there weren't that many on the island. I don't think there are. Certainly not in groups roaming the mountainsides, but at least here, maybe it's an aberration, but there are cows. Five hundred eighty meters above the sea. We'll call that about nineteen hundred feet. The second highest sea cliff in the world, I believe. 